Hello everyone, welcome to Alien Isolation. Now I know this game has been out for a long time, and I've played it off and on, um, but you know, during my Halloween kind of like special that I've got going on, I decided to revisit it. It's one of the first science fiction stories that I remember seeing as a movie, and it's also the first horror story that I ever saw in a movie. So it brings back a lot of nostalgia for me. Which is why I was interested in playing it. I expect to die quite a bit in this. So, you know. Final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. Third officer reporting. The other members of the crew. Kane, Lambert, Parker, Brett, Ash, and Captain Dallas are dead. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley, last survivor of the Nostromo, signing off. Ripley? I'm Samuels. I work for the company. It's about your mother. We think we may have found her, Amanda. A commercial vessel, the Anisadora, has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. What did it tell you? We don't know. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. It's proprietorial material, so the company wants it to be collected as soon as possible. Sevastopol's a supply depot in the region. It's a, a permanent freeport. I know what it is. Transit's arranged. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. We? Oui. Me and another exec. And you, if you're willing. Look, Ripley, when this job came across my desk, I read the case history. I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. You're still looking, aren't you? I've been cleared to offer you a place on the Torrance if you want to come along. Maybe there'll be some closure for you. Now one thing I always liked is their attention to detail. Everything looks like the very first film in a lot of ways. The 
the music that they use, I think is also what they used in the first film. I think this is supposed to take place right in between the first Alien movie and Aliens. always thought it was interesting that they had uh, mentioned her in Aliens 2 whenever Ripley wakes up. And that they decided to use her for this game. Now I'm not going to do this as a whole complete playthrough, just like my Doom playthroughs. I'm just doing this for Halloween. I might revisit them later. Nothing like a good shower after waking up. I wonder if there's any way to get coffee. Turns on, turns off, turns on, turns off, turns on. Now this is game is crafting heavy. And I'm not exactly sure why they decided to, to do that. I mean, I know she's supposed to be kind of like some kind of engineer or something, but... What's this? This little toy. Everything looks like from that era, around the 1970s. <laughs> I didn't notice that before. It's like a horseshoe... dream catcher? I think this is what they were talking about saving. Everything, or all the technology that they had at the time. Oh, I did. I came that way. Always like the universe that they put this in. Like, they they envisioned that we would be taken over by the Japanese. So. The uh, corporation here is kind of a conglomerate of both American and Japanese, and you can see that even with the style of, uh, I don't know what you call that, space gear? An astronaut suit? Don't think I, can I go this way yet? No. Here's the med lab. Samuels, did you wake up early? Well, I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you. I was just inspecting the Torrens facilities, a well-maintained ship. I realize it's a very similar model to... The Nostromo? Yes, M-Class. A later pattern, but close in spec. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. Of course. Is Taylor up yet? She's not a seasoned traveler. Hypersleep may have been punishing for her. Haven't seen her. I'll go check on her. Now, he says he doesn't need sleep, and I'm thinking he's an android, but earlier I saw him sweat. I can't remember if Bishop was a more advanced type of android and was able to sweat, and. Or am I thinking of a whole different film? Guessing we use a CT scanner just in case we happen to have any alien babies.
I don't know. I just came off as being, you know, for the most part, realistic looking. Like, I would imagine that this is what a spaceship would look like. It's not the highly fantasized one that we see often. Ooh, there's another horseshoe. Taylor, good morning. Ripley, it's certainly not good. I very much doubt it's morning either. Sorry. I feel like death. I don't know how you people put up with hypersleep regularly. You get used to it. I don't do long haul very often. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Waylon Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. It's important we find out what happened. If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. I'm sorry. That was insensitive. I realize your mother has been missing for 15 years and, and you... It's okay. We'll both get what we want, right? Uh, have you seen Samuels? He's probably been up for hours. Everybody's so concerned with each other. That's nice. All personnel to the bridge. Approaching Sevastopol Station. Looks like we're up. <laughs> Is that supposed to be music? Oh, those old Tiger games. The digital ones. I wonder where it's picking up radio signals from. I mean, that is a radio. Here's a hippo. Um, did they add stuff to this? Because I'm seeing things that I hadn't seen before. Like, I could have swore that I've never seen these horseshoe dream catcher type things. Kepler. Gosh. Everything looks so corporate. I'm just going to scroll through, so if anybody who hasn't played this or seen it, I'm not going to read through it. Like I said, this is just kind of like a Halloween excursion. A little bit of nostalgia, science fiction, horror, me getting killed multiple times. I'm not really good at hide-and-seek games, which is kind of what I call this, is because you're hiding... Oh, coffee. Oh, gosh. I wish you could make coffee. Be nice. Well, it looks like that's all we're going to be able to eat. Cornflakes, bran, or porridge. And milk, butter, and cream. All of those, I'm sure, are powdered. And taste wonderful. Is there anything in these... I'm supposed to be picking things up. I don't think there is any, though. Okay. Let me keep moving, then. Is there anything in these, maybe? Yes. And thus, I start pilfering everything I come across. As heroes are apt to do. Hope you all had a restful journey. The Torrens is in very good order for an old M-Class captain. She was a wreck when I bought her. Took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit. She pays for herself now. You said we're approaching Sevastopol Station. Are we docking? I believe your contact is Marshal Waits, is that right? I'll hail Sevastopol and arrange boarding with him. Good. Let's get this done. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine. In and out. Connor, how we doing? RCMG loaded and calibrated. Approach vector locked. Prep comms so I can say hello. Channel open, Captain. Does everyone have their briefing documents? You can watch the approach on the monitors. And as traditional for that time period, you have a pilot that's a redneck. Can we see it? Switch to monitors. Sevastopol Station. Is that damage? It looks like damage. 
Punch up 74, tight angle. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is a commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sevastopol traffic control. We're carrying three passengers on a whale and Yutani Bond. You're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers portside over. <laughs> Marshal? Mar Marshal, this is the Torrin. Say again. The station's comm seem pretty screwed up, so I fitted Samuel's suit with a radio booster. I can only keep the Torrens in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. Safe trip. Stand by. My contract doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option. And it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. <sighs> Claustrophobic feeling. Ooh. Depressurizing. Oh, fuck. Hating this. Just shout on me, Taylor. You too, Samuels. Affirmative. One thing I always respected about both Alien and uh, the Battlestar Galactica what happened here? is the sound My is realistic. Daddy. You're doing good, Tim. Just keep moving. Taylor Ripley, hold on. Samuels! Taylor! Respond! Anybody! Moisture droplets on the outside, that's pretty neat. Okay, that sound uh, tells me there's a safe thing nearby. What I like about this is they stayed true to this. I mean, the story is basically that, uh, you know, they're here to retrieve information, which could have really been sent even by radio, would travel about the same speed, I believe, as a ship would, so why would you send...
how has the alien caused this much damage? It's probably the people doing it themselves. When people panic, you don't know what they'll do. Guessing I can't go this way. Nope. I've heard some people complain that this is really slow going, but I think that they tried to stay with Kin... Um, I think they tried to model it after Kubrick's film, in which there is a slow build. You don't see the alien right away. In fact, you only see it a very minute amount of time because it's the anticipation. That's what's the killer. Yeah, they're decommissioning the Sevastopol. People are upset about it. Holds are corrupted. Why is it even there? But yeah, like I was saying, that the, the, the information could have been transferred by a burst signal or it could have been sent by radio if that's all that they needed. Place is falling apart. This will help. I like how realistic the effects are. I mean, they spent a lot of good time on making this look realistic. Or looking like the film, rather. That's what I should say. Someone new. You always know working Joe. I think the working Joe's the androids. Can I go this way? another way I don't think so it's a lot of luggage I think I can go back this way I think I can go up that ramp maybe yeah here we go I forgot how long these flares last. I wish they would have given us some kind of indication for us to know. It sucks you have to drop them a flare.
think this requires a code key, which I don't have yet. But I think that's what they did, is they were trying to build with anticipation. The sound. It's all there to try and try and give you some sense of, of anticipation that something's going to happen. Welcome to the end of the line. Tomorrow, no together future. Tomorrow, together, no future. No tomorrow, future together? I don't know. Somebody hated that person, whoever Koopalas is. Gives me chills. I've heard some people upset about using that, but they don't understand that a lot of generators you have to crank sometimes. somewhere in engineering. Lock the terminal down, kill the power, and don't forget your reports. Make them thorough. We're gonna need our paperwork to be bulletproof when this shit's over. Wait's up. Let's see where they're going. Well, this is open now. What's that sound? Okay, on second thought, I think I'm going to go try and see what they weren't to. That's a pained expression. Smile with confidence. Alright, well, that's... And maybe I can't go this way yet. later on you can fix some of this stuff. I guess this is what Sevastopol is supposed to look like. How do I get the code? Her run is not too much faster than her walk. Let me see if it was in with here and I missed it.
I think I find it later. I'm gonna go ahead and save. Almost makes you distracted trying to find so many different supplies. And I don't even know. I think you got recipes that you find later on. Crafting menu. Bonding agent. Guess I don't have it yet. Or maybe I do. Oh, here they are. Here's the other components. It is kind of weird. Compound B. Okay. I had to hit the left button to do that, but... Now I've got all of them, so now what do I do? LB to craft the item. Yeah, their setup for this is kind of strange. I need to have another injector, it looks like, to make another one. Okay. I don't want to be walking around with that med kit out either. I guess it's going to make me. After all, it's just trying to show me how to do it. It's kind of like... I like how games try to give you a tutorial by just... What the hell happened here? By having you go through certain actions. Instead of sitting there and stopping the game for you to try and figure it out. No entry. You know when you watch these films... You look at what they thought the future was going to be like, and now that we're in the future, and it's nothing alike. What happened here? I don't think I can go that way yet. Can I walk across? Nope. Like that heartbeat noise in the background. The tension as it rises.
Well, somebody doesn't want them seeing us. But one thing that I would think would be in the future would be flashlights. Maybe you can craft one later on, I don't know. Never really gotten that far. Is there a way in here? Nope. Everything's locked down. It's a heck of a place to have a generator. <laughs> they even thought we were going to have arcade games still. Air hockey is classic. It will never die out. on the station. How Bioshock. Don't see a code. None here either. I think I come back here later, but I'm going to backtrack a little bit now that the lights are on. And there's a lot of backtracking in this, but you want to be honest, a lot of games use it. I do wish that she could run faster, though. This place couldn't be opened without a some kind of blowtorch. This isn't green. Is it green down that way? Not yet. I think I have to climb down that hatch to get that way, but I don't want to go there yet. No hospital, no authority, no hope. about made a boo-boo. Still don't have the code for that. I guess I'll keep plugging along. They use a lot of um, movie tropes in this, at least from the Alien series. 
but also in general, like with that light that was shining in your face when you came through, that's very horror film like. Being unable to see. And you notice some of the camera shots that they had early on, it was focused on their faces. That's very um, horror film ish, too. And they do that to build suspense because by looking at their faces, you don't know what's coming, even though they do. So it gives kind of a heightened sense of uh, fear because you don't know what's happening. And of course, not being able to see, like in here, of course. Sometimes blinding light can be just as bad as darkness. Alright, drop a doozle. Those lantern lights. Wow. We use LEDs now instead of these things. Can you mention how hot it's going to be in this, this little area here? Can I go either direction? No. Damn place is falling apart. Yeah, and it's not like the alien could have done this much damage. <laughs> In the future, we would have robots. We haven't gotten robots yet, and we're not even close. I don't think you can jump over anything either. The feeling of claustrophobia. They all use all these different elements together to give you a sense of anticipation. The building. What is that? What's in here? Body bags. See if I can focus. Frack Siegson. Whoever that is. I haven't heard them mentioned yet. Solomon's Slum. Apparently a lot of people died here. But were they killed by the alien? Looters will pay. Alright, well, let's give it a. It's a primary airlock. Is that the way I'm supposed to be going? Excuse me. That's gotta be the exit up ahead. 
Gonna get a maintenance check. Restore power. Rinse and repeat. You have to restore power. Um, maybe instead of generators, what they should have had is fuse boxes or something, because that's how it feels like what I'm doing. I guess I have no choice but to go this way. The use of silence. Bright lights, dark corners. See, brightness makes the darkness even darker whenever it's focused. Oh, here we go. Okay, well, I think I'll leave it right here for right now. Um, I'm going to play at least another one of these uh, for this Halloween special edition. So uh, join me on that next episode. And until then, this is Coldhaven. Stay safe, and I'll catch you next time.